And what do the two of you think about the stigma that's attached to mental illness? Oh, Are you yeah. open about your son? And, well, or what well, of course. Well, we had to be. We had to be. We did this, uh, well, at least uh, 15 or 20 years ago. We decided, at least I did, I said we have to come out of the closet because nobody's talking about this and we're never going to be able to do anything unless we talk about it. And so we did. They had in the papers. <clears throat> and I don't think Robert was too thrilled with that because he's a very private kind of a guy. But uh, I decided that it was very, very important to do that. And then when, when uh, NARSAID came around, and that's about 17 years ago, we, I, we were thrilled because now we could do some research. And, um, and it, was just, it was just so thrilling for me. The, the amazing thing is that 22% uh, uh, of the American population, adults, that's 18 years old and older, in any year have a uh, mental illness. That's one out of five. Now you consider they have family, friend, uh, children, parents, brothers, they have friends, employers, and, and yet nobody talks, talks about, about it. it. Uh, and that's the problem. That's, that's we a have big to problem. get people to talk about it. And you have a national problem here, here and people are afraid to talk about it. But you can rest assured that if it's one in five, you know somebody, you're probably related oh, everybody. to somebody well, you know, if it's not you. Well, everybody, so, everybody we talk to since we've been doing this here, this is our ninth year. And of course, we've been doing this for years since my son got ill. But uh, everybody, somewhere along the line, they will come to me and say, you know, I really have it in my family and I really haven't been able to talk about it. So it's really getting more open here in Sarasota. And we're thrilled. And it has to help tremendously to have people like Mike Wallace. Oh, yes. Oh, sure. oh he's been sure. extraordinary. And his wife has been uh, really working with me for a long, long time. And she's on our board. So she's really thrilled about it. And, of course, she's the caregiver, which is a very difficult job. Mm -hmm. And um, so she's really been absolutely thrilled that we're doing this and wants us to continue. Narsad, the, the work that they're doing in funding research, grassroots advocacy groups, how important are they? Extremely. One of the things they do, of course, is they fund, fund young investigators, they fund research that might not pass muster the NIH or NSF level in terms of getting funded, so they can fund things that might on the surface be a little riskier, right. but in fact might lead to better breakthroughs and understanding, so I think it's extremely important. Very we heard helpful. Bob and Lee Peterson talk about, gosh, they wish the government would do more. They wish there would be more sure. money. Does everyone here sure. feel the same way? Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Mental health at every level, I think, is underrepresented and underfunded in the country, and partly because of the stigma we've been talking about that's come out of the past for us. And uh, the sooner that gets recognized politically, the better off I think we'll be as a country and uh, the better off people will be who suffer from these.